Hi guys, happy Friday. Let's just do a chit chat, get rid of me. I wanted to do something really colourful today, so I picked out these two palettes here. These are actually so old, I don't even know how old these actually are, but the colours and shades in these palettes are beautiful. So they're both by the brand Lick and Lash Beauty. This one here is the Playful palette. They're stunning. And then we have the Flamingo Beach palette. So there's that one. It's really pretty as well. It's actually a mixture of mattes and shimmers, whereas this one is all just mattes and it had an obvious colour story, whereas this is just a mix match of kind of colours. <laughs> I think I want to do something with yellow. And it's nothing to do with the fact that I'm wearing a bright yellow top. <laughs> Okay, that kind of looks somewhat promising. So we have those colour combos. <sighs> I kind of feel like purples, pinks, corals, oranges, yellows, they're very common colour combinations for like this time of year, you know, kind of like a cocktail inspired eye makeup look, but I kind of feel like this is a wee bit more different. I'm gonna go for these shades and see what we can come up with. A bit of the P. Louise eyeshadow base. I don't like to take a lot of this, so I just like to take just a wee bit. I done my eyebrows last night, I gave them a wee wax, gave them a wee pluck and honestly it is so satisfying doing your eyebrows the day after you get your eyebrows done. So because these palettes here are actually so old, I don't actually know if I really want to use them. If I want to go into a couple of the shades I will, but I'm going to take the shades that I swatched in my hand on other palettes that I know are going to perform and work well. So Ava Mitchell, Head in the Clouds, yeah. And I'm going to start with this yellow and I'm just going to be pressing this just within the inner corner of the crease and I'm also going to be bringing that on to the lid as well. I'm going to have the exact same shade and giving it all a wee blend. I'm actually going to blend this right over but keeping it really high and quite tight to my brow bone. Because I think I'm gonna go in with the green next and I think it'll blend in quite nicely into that yellow. I just love making things awkward and difficult. I'm gonna go into another palette, the Carnival Love Tahiti palette. I'm gonna take the shade Wraith. This is like the perfect green. Um, well, kind of like a turquoise green. I was wanting to go for something like a more pure green, but I just don't really think it's Samurai, whereas this shade here, I feel it's gonna be absolutely perfect because I'm then going to blend it out on the outer corner with this blue. So I kind of feel like in the same color family instead of these shades, it blend it within each other. Does that make sense? I'll see, because I'll kind of feel like it'll look really nice against the yellow as well. And it'll also blend out really nice to the yellow. I'm actually just looking at this palette if you remember wanting to recreate this, feel free not to use the yellow. Use this green, like this limey green, then this shade, then this blue. I think I might actually top the inner corner up with this green actually. Because I really want the inner corner to pop. And it's not popping enough for me <laughs> just yet. I've also left out like a yellow glitter as well, but they're obviously just be finishing touches. And taking no more product, I'm just making sure I'm just going around in mean pattern motions to just kind of blend those edges to where the yellow and that turquoise colour are joining or mean. So there's no like definite line. We all want this to be pretty seamless. Also taking a clean blending brush and I'm just going to blend that shade. Just going up and down the centre of the lid. Do you know what this reminds me on actually? Do you remember years ago, I had done this series on my YouTube channel here where it was the World Cup makeup looks. <laughs> Basically, um, all the countries that was in the football World Cup at the time. Um, I had done makeup looks based on that flag, so I used those colours. But Brazil, Brazil was my favourite. I'll actually, if I can find a picture of it, because I don't think I have a picture of it on Instagram or anything, but this was also back in the day <laughs> when I used to actually use Snapchat. So if I can find a picture on my Snapchat from like memories or something, I'll post it up. That was definitely my favourite. 
So I'm not going to take this dark blue. I hate trying to blend out these types of dark blue, dark navy shades. Do you know what I think traumatised me? Was the Beauty Bay Naked Tutorials palette. Fuck me. <laughs> I do not know. It's such a beautiful palette and the shimmer shades in that palette are actually incredible. But traumatising. <laughs> Having a really pigmented palette is great and all, but uh, it needs to blend, y'all. Again, I keep on taking these Buff and Blend BB22 brushes. I must have about 20 of these at this point, because they're honestly like the best wee blending brushes. So I've been using one for each stage. So I'm just packing that all in the air corner, just a wee bit at a time, because I don't want to just sense my fear and a blend the night and I also I'm not really being too concerned or worried about my blender or anything because I feel like I'm wanting to go in with a shimmer um at each stage if I can like a yellow shimmer greeny turquoise shimmer and then a blue shimmer I think that will look really nice If you kind of feel like you've overlapped a wee bit, feel free to go in with your previous shade and just kind of tap it on again. So tap into a bit of that reef shade and just press it on just to re-intensify it but then remember to go back and blend. Blue or yellow in my waterline? That's the question. I'm thinking and I'm feeling blue. So not long now guys. <laughs> I don't even know if I've actually spoke to you about it but it's only the next couple of weeks and I'll be getting my new kitten. Uh, obviously as you know if you know it's basically my neighbour has a shit ton of cats and one of them got pregnant again and I've decided to take two. <laughs> um, so basically mommy cat had four wee kittens. Um, sorry, my mum was texting me. <laughs> yes, I will come on Sunday for dinner because we have literally no food in the house at all. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, as I was saying, so I'm taking two kittens and don't hold up, hold up, they're not for me. <laughs> so I'm taking one and mummy is taking one. And they're gonna be like, I think I've told you this. They're gonna be like brother and sister, sister and sister, brother and brother, they and they, <laughs> them and them, them and they. <laughs> I think a week ago or a couple weeks ago, basically I went over to see them and they had just opened their eyes. Um, if I can, I'll put a wee picture up here so you can definitely tell that they've literally just opened their eyes. Wow, wow, cute. So that picture was taken about two or three weeks ago so now they're obviously at the stage where they're running about they're running about they're falling all over the place they're playing with each other you know they're still lying in around mummy and i'm literally standing at the top of my stairs looking out my window over into their garden just watching them i'm just watching my wee baby <laughs> it's honestly the cutest thing i've ever seen you know what i was saying i was wanting to actually put a shimmer all over the look at my wee nail <laughs> I was doing a bit of cleaning yesterday and I lost this one, God knows where it is. Um, <laughs> but you know the way I'm saying I wanted to put a bit of shimmer all over the lids. So the Made by Mitchell Heather the Clouds palette, we have a shimmery yellow. Yes. This colour. <laughs> Mint. <laughs> and then this colour. Oh my God. Yes. How good are those shades though? I honestly thought that <laughs> I honestly thought that shade was called Better Drugs. It's called Better Dice. So these shimmers are really pigmented by the way, so I'm just gonna be taking like a really light wee dusting off them. Cause I don't want to like completely cover everything or I don't know. So with this one I'm kinda taking a like a flat shader brush. It's kinda like a flat fluffy shader brush. I'm just doing a light wee dusting of shimmer over for them. 
and I switch to another cling brush and I'm gonna go into this shit. I feel like my background looks so empty and it's because I don't have my plump. It even sounds echoing. <laughs> um, it's actually currently in my shower. I gave it a wash last night <laughs> and then I have a wee bit of humidity. Um, and I forgot to take it out. So that's where it is. <laughs> but you know what I also noticed? Holy shit, because it sits beside me and I'm doing my makeup, the leaves were minging. They were powdery, they were glittery and everything. It was, it was actually really funny. It was cloud and makeup. <laughs> Because I, I literally had to get like a cloth and scrub the leaves, obviously not hard, be delicate with it. Um, but I did have a wee titter to myself, a wee giggle, that the plant was just covered in makeup and glitter, powder, whatever. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to be patting this on just the outer corner. And... Just take this wee brush to blend it out. I obviously don't want the shimmer to be like brought the whole way up here by the way. So that's why I'm taking this wee blender brush just to kind of blend that shimmer shade up a wee bit. So I'm gonna take a wee bit of a glitter glue just taking a wee small amount of this, I'm going to pat this just in the inner corner. Just all over. And then taking this pearlized glitter. This is from LA Splash and I don't even know if they do this glitter anymore. But if I find it, I'll link it down below for you. It's in the shade, I think it's Hawaiian Fizz. Hawaiian Fizz. Doesn't The name of that glitter just sound tasty. <laughs> Hawaiian Fizz. Mmm. First, what's in the lid? Because I don't want to take a lot, obviously. Oh shit! <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh yes! Oh fuck yes! Oh my god! I swear, th this is literally what makeup is all about. <laughs> oh my god! See this glitter here, like the yellow glitter. That's so underrated. I feel like someone's in my garage. That better be a package, or else tidy it, please. <laughs> um, but it's just so underrated, and every time I use it, it's like yes, you're you're so beautiful. <laughs> you're so gosh damn gorgeous. So I'm gonna go off camera now and do my mascara and lashes and then I'll be back to finish off the skin. For concealer, this is the Tarte Shape Tape. An oldie bit of goodie. Oh, that smell. <laughs> and just in case you're curious, the foundation I'm using is the HMB Luminous Soft Focus Airbrush Foundation. At this point, I'm literally just using it up. Of course just taking my pink honey <laughs> face frosting. I take the shade Toffee Truffle. I see they've came out with contour shades. That's interesting. I feel I don't know, I just I've never really been somebody that contours. I don't know. I, just, <laughs> I kinda feel like you're maybe somebody that does does one or the other, right? I just I don't know. I just prefer a nice warm perimeter to my skin. I really do think it is a good idea. I like the fact that they came out with like really cool tone cream bronzers because I would say like even if you're really really pale one of those might even be like a warm bronzer for you. Just not for me. Oh my god that sponge is harder than a rock. Let's leave it softer. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> as gross as it might sound, I absolutely hate using clean sponges. <laughs> They're just not broken. Honestly, like the dirtier the makeup brushes, the dirtier the sponges, I feel like the best they perform. <laughs> Maybe not brushes. 
maybe not brushes, but sponges. I kind of feel like the dirtier, the better they are. <laughs> After all these years, I still don't use a dump beauty sponge. <laughs> Dry all the way. <laughs> I'm going in raw dogging. <laughs> So I'm going to take some cream blush. This is new from P. Louise. This is the Glow with the Flow Cream Blush Palette. Um, I actually haven't used this before. So I'm going to take... I was going to go for this colour. Because <laughs> I'm sure that's what yours are all expecting. But I'm going to go for this one. This one looks beautiful. I'm kind of worried about these though. I don't know um, what the finish is going to be like. Um, because they look kind of glossy in the pan. Oh, this is really depressing. I really do wish that the pan sizes were bigger because I feel like whenever you're going to be dipping in your brush or your sponge, you're going to get the palette dirty and it's far, far too cute for that. Seriously, come on now. I just take a wee bit of this because I don't know the formula. I don't know how pigmented it is. I don't know what the finish is going to be like. Honestly, if that shade is that bright and pigmented, could you imagine how bright they're going to be? Jesus. I'm just going to go and further blend that out with a sponge actually. Just mainly those edges. Yeah, that's nice. I was just a bit panicky poos <laughs> with the finish how it was going to look on the skin I don't know I just get really panicky whenever it comes to cream blushes especially ones that look quite shiny in the pan it definitely is more of like a, a glowy slash G finish and it hasn't lifted up or messed any of the underlying foundation or makeup or anything which is also quite nice yeah it's nice it definitely does look a wee bit more natural <laughs> now that I've actually blended it out with sponge. I'm going to do our highlight palette. It's honestly the best. We highlight palette. I'm going to take another wee blush. This is from Sephora in the shade Fascinated. So it's just a really really bright coral. I'm just going to put a wee bit of that just on the upper area of my cheeks, just on top of that cream blush. Just to kind of intensify it a bit more, just kind of make it look a wee bit more summery. For bronzer, this is the Sigma bronzer. The matte one. Oh my god, why do my brushes smell like sweet and sour sauce from the Chinese? I think I'm just going to do on the lower lash line what I've done on the eyes. And then I also think I'm going to exaggerate the inner corner a wee bit more. Like bring more of that yellow onto it. I'm just going to do it. Like, <laughs> just shut up. Like, <laughs> I swear. Like, just do it. <laughs> Instead of sitting talking about it. And also kind of be careful with these shadows. You do get a wee tea bit of oil and blue is really hard if you get blue fall out on your like, foundation it's really hard to actually like cover up and can I pop that right in the inner corner and it's slightly onto the inner corner at the bottom lower lash line just at that tear duct Okay, this front bit didn't exactly work out the way I wanted it to, so please just ignore what's going on on the side of my face. So, for lips, I think this makeup look causes for a nude lip. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so, Bark Lip Liner by Vive. So that was Morphe um, in the shade 
boom we looks like and then i'm gonna take the p louise lip face and baby doll just a wee bit of that just in the center of my lips so what's everybody's plans this weekend then nothing nice i'm going for a barbecue tomorrow night and i don't eat meat can't wait <laughs> I wanna say that sad bastard <laughs> at a barbecue. Like if I get invited to a barbecue, I'm like, where's the potato salad? <laughs> or the pasta salad. I'm also the type of person as well that I just I just don't understand barbecues either. Like I just I don't get it. I would love to go to an, an American barbecue though, because I feel like they're the only people that would actually be able to master one. Like, I remember it was last year, I, me and Kylie were at a barbecue, and I'm not joking, these people served me dead ass raw sausages. Needless to say, I fed these sausages to their dogs. What is going on with this hair? What is going on in the House of Commons? Don't know what, it's not about the hair, no, wait, it's about this. Fierce ass makeup. I freaking love it. I do feel like the glitter on the inner corner has really just kind of amped it up a wee bit. Stunning. Happy Friday. Hope you have a lovely weekend. And I'll probably see you either, either Monday or Tuesday. I'm not going to promise anything because it's me. <laughs> yeah, bye guys.